guys. All right, as promised, today we are opening and doing a rare puzzle. Ah, oh, the collector in me is cringing, but I'm also so excited to do this puzzle finally. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting so long for this. I can't wait any longer, so let's crack this bad boy open and find out what it's like. All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back. As I promised last week, today we are opening and doing the ice dragon puzzle, the uh, twin to my fire dragon puzzle, you know, like ice and fire and all that good stuff. This is a rare puzzle. Um, this bad boy goes for about 120 American dollars on eBay. That's a lot of money for a puzzle, for um, a point of interest for those of you that aren't in America, so don't know the American currency perhaps as well. Um, Typical puzzle goes anywhere from like 20 to $25. So the fact that this guy goes for like 120, woo, <laughs> this is out of print, so this is rare, and it is factory sealed. Now I know, I know what I'm about to do is going to depreciate the value, but you only live once. And I don't have two of these, and I really want to do this puzzle. And puzzles were meant to be done. Or so I'm telling myself. That is the justification I'm giving myself. To all you collectors out there that are currently screaming at me right now, do not worry because I am screaming at me about what I am about to do. This is like blasphemy. This is like taking the pristine comic book out of its little thingy. But um, puzzles were meant to be done. Books were meant to be read. All that good stuff. This puppy was printed to be put together. So here we go. Here we go. I don't know. This is like the most but also least I have ever been excited to take the wrap off of a puzzle. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Once it's done, there's no undoing it. Once it's done, there's no undoing it. <laughs> okay, here we go. I have sliced through the wrap. So now there's no going back. This is no longer factory sealed. Oh my goodness. Oh, it feels so good but so wrong. Oh. I'd laugh because the fire that one in there. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, like, for all I know, they bought a shrink wrapper and they were like, look, factory sealed. <laughs> you know. Um, but, hey, super nice quality. FX Schmidt, technically, they still exist, but they were absorbed by Ravensburger back in, like, 1986. So, rare. <laughs> rare. Um, the art was done by Sally J. Smith, exact same as the fire dragon behind me. Um, there is an Earth Dragon, as I was saying in my other video, part of the series, kind of. It's by a different artist. I don't like the art as much, but hey, the collector in me really, really wants it at some point. Okay, is it going to be sealed and in the bag? Let's find out. Is that factory sealed? It's, it's a bread tab. It's, <laughs> I don't think it's so. a bread tab. That's not factory sealed. Well... <laughs> All right. Unless it says F Swartz, or Swartz, I don't know. Um, I, I think it's just like your... No, because it's got uh, yeah. puzzle dust in it. Oh, I thought maybe because if it had a no. bad company, I'd No. Know. Well, all the pieces better be here. Oh, man, that would suck. That would suck. After all that... So it wasn't really factory sealed then, so you don't have to feel bad. No, thank God. Okay, so now I don't feel as bad. Um, but you spent a lot more for a factory sealed one. That's all that's... That's all that That's available. all that's available. <laughs> So, I mean, hey, and there's a nice little um, flip book, I assume, for puzzles. Oh, well, there is my astrology puzzle, the 9,000-piece one, huh, right there. That's pretty cool. It's uh, all the Ravensburger puzzles, you know. Um, I assume some of these probably can't get anymore. I don't know how old this pamphlet is. There's a lot of, like, really kiddie ones in here, so if you got, like, a three- or four-year-old, um, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, I guess factory sealed meant go buy a shrink wrapper and uh, make it look factory sealed. Unless that's how they used to do it, but like, I don't know. Well, they that, might have. They might have. Is that? I don't know. I mean, it's... Is that, is that a seal that was cut? That's, and it does have holes for it, so then the puzzle dust would have come out on its own. So, like, it, I mean, it's possible. That could just be how it was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Maybe just to keep it so you're not tearing things open and maybe breaking a piece Maybe, up. and to give you a bag to put it after. in after. I, I feel like we went backwards then, if that's how we used to seal <laughs> puzzles. It's like, why would we, let's um, let's make it so we destroy the bag, you know, and then everyone, well, 
don't know, maybe they're about shares in Ziploc or something, and they were like, hey, sharing is caring. <laughs> Come on now. They might be, because there's no, like, red. They, I mean, it doesn't look <coughs> damaged or anything. It, it looked like an original factory stuff. Sometimes you can tell I'll re shrink. Yeah. You know. Yeah, like it looked, it looked tight like and everything and all that. So, um, yeah, hey. Here's a rare puzzle. This is what a rare puzzle looks like, you know. Um, pretty much the same as, you know, every other puzzle, except much more expensive and harder to get. Um, I'm pretty excited. I really think it's going to have the same piece cut as my Fire Dragon. Um, and I'm looking for a piece to prove that theory. I'm specifically looking for, like, the under the wing tab thingies here. If such a thing can be found right off the hop, let me see. I gotta like, it, maybe it is factory sealed because like a lot of them are stuck together like they would be from the cutter. I mean that can also happen when you put a puzzle together, but I mean hey, the pieces almost seem smaller. But okay, well this would be. Um, oh, interesting. Huh. I think it's the same cut, but unless that's the top of that way, bear with me. <laughs> this is an this is science. Okay, there's a wing tab, which that looks the same as over there. That's still not what I'm looking for. Uh, what I'm looking for also may not exist, but hey, YOLO. <laughs> this guy here so it's the same but slightly different so it's kind of the same but not not exactly the same interesting I wonder if it'll be a little smaller or a little bigger all right you guys so I mean you know this looks like an interesting puzzle because it's a lot of white and blue and all that good stuff. I kind of wonder if the detail is going to help me out. I'm going to have a lot of pieces to separate because I think they didn't um, possibly go through the cutter exactly right. Um, doo -doo -doo. So they are the same-ish piece cuts as the Fire Dragon, but different. A little bit different. Smaller in size from the looks of it. Same general shape, but a little smaller. All right, I'm going to try to sort the border out, but like with the fire dragon, I mean, the fire dragon had a bit of a better solid purple border to it. This, not as much. It's got the border in some places, it looks like, but not others, which is weird. Hmm. Let's just, we'll just see how this goes. We'll play this by ear. <laughs> Alright you guys, I have what I think are some of the border pieces here. I will try and see where this gets me. What I might do is work on some of the intricate parts with the wings and where there's kind of lots of purplish, pinkish color to it. Um, that might be the easier route. We are going to see. See, I've already given up on the border, and I've been on it for like two minutes. I have gotten distracted. Uh, that didn't take long. I distracted a little faster than I would have thought. So it's like, well, if the ball of snowy, breathy stuff is here, I'm only here. Might as well just like put 
that together since I'm here. Dear. Too easily distracted. There's so much detail in this sun, like it's just gorgeous. Is there more than one tiger? There must be. There is. There are snow tigers in this. Many fine details. My goodness. It actually looks like, so especially with the tail, this bluey border is supposed to be here, but this dark blue spot, because you can see this little white piece, I, I don't think they actually had it lined up perfectly properly. Like, I don't think you're supposed to be seeing this dark blue. It's interesting. Because it doesn't, like, it doesn't match all the way, like, the purple with the, the other dragon. I mean, it's not affecting the actual inside of the puzzle, which is nice, but it's an interesting point of thought.
Yeah, you had a little nap. Did it make you feel more rested? <laughs> Just snoozing away. It's definitely harder than the um, than the fire dragon because it had such good color breakup of different things. This is just here's some blue and some white and you know a little bit of pinky purpley for good measure, but otherwise, haha, -ha, have fun. So, okay, fun fact for you guys. While I'm here deep in concentration and enjoying the heck out of this puzzle, by the way, it's a toughie, but in the best possible way, Casey is in the other room taking a nap. And I know he's taking a nap, which I think he totally needs. He does. And look at that. He's, ah. I was like, what? I was like, oh, it's not my dream now. No. No. I was telling them the funny story of how you're tired, so you're taking a nap. Yeah. And I was going to say, by the time this puzzle's done, you'll wake up. And it'll be perfect, because you'll be so shocked. And I'm going to be, I'm going to, I was going to pretend I'm like, I've been up for hours. Where have you been? It's like midnight. Well, I, I just kind of let you sleep, you I know? I dreaming. And then the voice, because it's pain through the wall, yeah. it bled into like the dream. It's like, well, this isn't matching the dream. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, is she done? No, I wasn't going to wake you up. I was just going to be like, and I'm going to, he's going to wake up and it's going to be done. And I'm going to be like, it's midnight. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? Like, I let you, you were sleeping so peacefully. I wasn't going to wake you. Oh, it was going to be so much fun.
Good news, it looks like all the pieces are here. All done. All done. I could be wrong, it feels a little smaller than the other dragon. Yeah, it looks a little smaller. Just a little. Nothing major, but it does look a little bit smaller. Well, that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Like, it was well worth the money. Um, I think it's interesting that there's that little nub here and like where you can kind of see that they didn't quite cut the edge exactly right. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, I almost kind of like that a little bit better. It's sort of like the rare coin mentality of like, well, you might have that rare coin, but mine has a head where yours has a tail kind of thing. And it's like, ha ha, I have the only copy like this, possibly. I mean, who knows? Maybe all the other copies could be like this. Um, definitely 100% harder than the fire dragon because there's so much less variation in color like it's just a little bit of pink you can see the checkered flag thing from the ship but other than that it's like blue so this one's definitely the harder of the two definitely a bigger challenge um especially with the edge because you get that nice little purple edge with the fire dragon you do not get that as much with the ice dragon uh, I actually kind of liked that personally. I really thought that it was a good challenge. Uh, it was hard in the best way. Definitely time consuming, but in a fun way. And yeah, I am really glad that I got my unicorn puzzle. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, just another picture of it, top down. Oh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Look at it all. I and mean, we can do a close up cam if yeah, you want. Yeah, Mm. Yeah, like the little orb in the fire dragon's hand is easier to tell. Um, right now. Sure. Alright, so this is starting from the left wing. You can see that there's the cool ship in the ice cave. Got some Vikings on it. And this dragon's facing the opposite way of the fire dragon. He's got like his little ice ball in his hand. This was harder than the orb with the fire dragon because like you only get 
the white in that one spot with Fire Dragon, whereas like half his puzzle is white. This was actually very easy to do because other than this little spot up here, it's really the only other pure white in the whole puzzle. Um, do they ever do a really good job with imaging? Like she's a really beautiful, like she does really beautiful artwork. And then we've got all the ice on the other wing. Now you go up into the, up and up and up here. You see how? No, you go over to the a little bit more to the left. Down, 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 down. Right there. See how the the purpley blue and then this is white. Yeah. It is like as if it. Yeah, like they, cause there's. What piece would that be? There should be a little bit more of a border or something there. Yeah, like it's just a little bit, it's a little bit off because you've got this bluey, icy border, which I, is supposed to, I think, be like the purple border in the fire dragon, but it's not cut exactly right. Like you can see how it's thicker here than it is, say, I mean, you're getting this weird secondary blue line here. Yeah. That it's like that was the outline of the cut, but it's part of the puzzle. Oopsies. Oh well. There's a little tiger hanging out in there. A little snow tiger. And then when you go up to the tail, this is where you can really see the mistake is on the tail because there's this little white oh, nub that, that's sure. not supposed to, that, yeah, because yeah, I think it got shifted this way a oh, little bit because you can, thing, yeah. yeah, because you can even see in the tail here that it got where the border is supposed to be. It got cut off that, a little I bit. I wonder if that's why there's some that are still sealed. I wonder if the factory they knew that there was misprints. Maybe. And then sent them off as misprints. That's possible. And then that's who people are collecting up these. The misprints. Misprints. Yeah, that's possible. I mean, it's not misprinted in a critical way that the puzzle can't be done, like with the Kodak one, which is nice. I mean, it makes it unique. And it doesn't really take away from the end image, which is kind of nice. I mean, it's this unique little blemish about it, but I mean, like for the price, it would have been nice if it was totally pristine. But at the same time, again, it really is like that <laughs> little never find another one. right. Well, and like, I mean, I'm just happy to have one. It was still fun to do. And it, it really is like that rare coin mentality of like, hey, look at what I have that no one else has. No one else has a copy like this. Um, so, hey, there's a good lesson for all you collectors out there. Yes, I totally understand the value in keeping things factory sealed, but if this puzzle had stayed factory sealed, people would just assume that it was perfect and pristine, and uh, that is not entirely the case. I mean, it's still all the pieces are there and all that good stuff, but a little bit of a misprint almost. Um, so that's pretty cool to be able to catch that. So yeah, you guys. This is a rare puzzle. If I ever get my hands on the Earth Dragon one, you can bet I will do it. Again, it's not by the same artist, so the art isn't quite as intricate and all that. But hey, you gotta have all these shaped dragon things. Anyways, you guys, thank you all for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.